All right, so we have just configured our app project. We've got the icons, we've got the splash screen sorted, and we've got the www folder sorted with um, whitelisted our external hosts, um, and that's all pretty good. So what we need to do now, which is a pretty cool feature, it's an optional feature, but I find it very helpful and just really extends the app is adding the child browser plugin. It's an older version of the in-app browser um, plugin which is what uh, the new Cordova phone gap does now. But just to give you a hint of uh, what it does, um, let's uh, set it up. So first thing is first we need to go to um, phone gap plugins download all these files alright so the bundle the uh, not the Facebook connect not the JavaScript and not the readme but the bundle and everything else that says child, child browser in it you copy so I'm just going to do that with my old project so I've got my old project here I'm going to go into my project folder, my plugins, and I'm going to copy these and paste them in here. So make sure that is all done in Xcode as well. So my plugins. Okay, so we have to go to our finder as well and drag it onto there. Put the reference on there. So let's select those drag them onto our plugins folder here. OK, and we'll say finish. That's all done. And our child browser copy there, are copied there. Now what we also need to do is copy the back and get the other one up as well. The child browser uh, JavaScript file, so we'll go back and it'll be it's, uh, in my www folder because that's where it needs to be. Uh, that's the older project. Now I'm gonna go here, my new project, and copy it into straight copy it. Today. So I've got my child browser JS, my Cordova 2.2 JS file. I'm going to go to Xcode. Yep, it's all in there. Now, don't forget to go into your index.html and reference your JS files as you would normally. Okay? So I've got it in there, highlighted. Um, you try, and make sure you put your Cordova 2.2 JS file first, and then your child browser JS file in there. Okay, so that's all copied. Now what we also need to do is scroll down back to our Cordova.p list. We need to open up, expand the plugins, and let's add in a plugin for the child browser command. All right. Command A, Command C to copy, so select everything and copy, and make sure child browser command is your key. The type is screen and the value is the same thing, which is easy as. And I'm going to do Command S to save. And that's all done. Now let's go back to the index.html. And then you open up another script tag just uh, for pure JavaScript script tag. And this is going to make your uh, child browser call. So um, I'm going to put the code in the blog there. Um, and it'll be a open Google example. OK. So just to show you how it works, um, let's see if that's all done. Let's see if we can run it again. So you remember how I pressed on the Twitter feed and it didn't work because I've configured it to actually bring it up within the browser, uh, within the in-app browser, sorry, the child browser. 
just going to take a little bit to load there, and there you have it. I've got my Twitter feed showing there, and this is pointing to an actual site. So you can see the site here, you press done. That's really helpful for this app. I've actually got it pointing to you know, the timetables. So here. And the user can explore, the customer can explore your app, you know, um, web pages in a sub view without leaving your app. Instead of it opening up in Safari, um, and a really cool thing here is um, the dance school actually has a sign in uh, process and and open it up within a nice little web view here. Unfortunately, their site isn't responsive, but uh, I'm not in charge of their website, so um, it does look better on an iPad, but people can actually sign in into classes from their phone, which is pretty cool. So that's not too bad. And also, you know, I've got to give credit to myself here. Um, I put my own website in there. So I've got my responsive website in there. There we go. And so you can put in practically any page, you just point to it and it opens it up within the app, which is pretty cool. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've got all the code snippets in my blog. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to comment, subscribe, and ask me questions. Okay, thanks. Bye.